In 2003-2004 was the first time I'd heard of F1 in schools. So for me, it was something that I could see that could easily impassion a teacher, but also get students really hooked. I've been involved for the last two years for F1 in schools here. It was already well established at BMGS before I got here. We've got a strong student body who mentor the younger teams as well. I love seeing the true potential that it pulls out of kids. I don't think they even know at that point in time what capacity they've got. I know it's definitely pushed me as a teacher away from perhaps saying no, no I won't do that, that's, that's a bit too tricky, I won't go down that path. Instead, my mantra's been yes, and then we'll just see how that works out. So with the kids, if they say, can we try this? Yep, sure, and then we'll just see how we go. Um, and it definitely pushes you well beyond your teacher limits of what you know and what you understand, but it also then broadens your connections with university, trades in the area, businesses in the area, and your community and in school as well. It allows them to work together as a team because this is a sort of a pressure environment where they have to show empathy towards each other and realise the different personalities and different working types with each other and respect how each individual works together as a team. It also gives them an insight to career after school as well, which then assists them for what electives they choose. I think this program works on students working to their personal best Another critical thing that F1 in Schools does is it's learnt risk, so calculated risk, to get a possible reward. A lot of kids don't and won't put themselves out there at that level. They already resist sort of potentially taking that risk, but I think in this program, it's a supported risk. There's lots of avenues around you that you can actually get advice and, and collaboration, and that develops in that student the ability to go and converse with adults at the age of 12, go and talk to university professors at the age of 15, brings a lot of rich learning into those young kids coming through. It helps them develop a sense of their own individual learning and how their learning fits in with the overall curriculum as well. So F1 in schools begins in stage five design and technology. So the students choose design technology for a, a myriad of different reasons. And this sort of crystallizes their own interests in a specific area of design and technology. Going to World Finals 2014 in Abu Dhabi was just an absolute life dream. It's something that I certainly was striving for as a teacher, but striving for to get students to that level as well. It was amazing. I took a group over to Abu Dhabi, which was eight students, their extended family, so we're about a group of nearly 50. But the, the pure experience of being in Ferrari world, um, that was my first ever time going to an F1 race. But then get the chance opportunity of meeting Daniel Ricciardo, to me that's just it's immeasurable, it's priceless. But even the kids that I took from this school, I know that taking them over to Abu Dhabi culturally, exposing them to something that they were very, very sheltered around, it certainly opened their eyes to another culture. Just had wonderful times meeting different teams. We got on so well with different teams here in Australia as well, so made some really good relationships there. But it's what the lifelong relationships that have been developed and what F1 Schools has done for those kids that have been through this program is amazing. If other schools are interested in F1 at schools, then I would highly recommend it because it really assists the students overall, not just in relation to a certain subject area or STEM itself, but it allows them to become more well-rounded students and work together as a team. We've now implemented F1 into the co-curricular at the school. So instead of kids just going off to rugby, soccer or basketball, students come to do F1. And so it's just a real cultural shift into the STEM type technologies. It opens their eyes to other career opportunities that are out there. F1 in schools definitely broadens their capacity with collaborative skills. One of the boys in particular, I just know that for him it might have been something that he would have left at the end of year 10. And to see him finish in year 12, be one of the members that went over to the world team in 2014, and where he is now today, this program has definitely had a massive impact on his career.